Guys, this is Tamara coming to you from the backyard outdoors. I uh, wanted to share with you today uh, something that I also learned watching television. Sometimes you can catch some something here and there, but it was an interview on 2020 with Barbara Walters with um, a lady um, by the name of, gosh, Lynn Tilton. Lynn Tilton is a billionaire. This show was basically about billionaires, and they were sharing their uh, secrets that could basically help you change your life. And so Lynn Tilton, um, basically she specializes in buying companies that are in trouble or that are failing. And what she does is she restructures them. She, you know, she gets rid of what doesn't work and she finds ways, new ways of uh, making things profitable. And so over 11 years, basically she saved dozens of uh, failing companies. Some of them, you know, you may know the names of like Spiegel, Rand McNally, and Stilla uh, Cosmetics and some others too, but those are some... Uh, major ones that you may know about. But uh, basically, Lynn's on a mission to save America's jobs. At 52 years old, she's a combination of like Lady Gaga slash Warren Buffett. And so she's the owner of 75 companies, more than any woman in America and probably anywhere in the world, in, in the, the world period. All the companies together, they generate about uh, $8 billion a year in revenue. She's a flashy dresser. She's always like in Gucci, uh, Cartier and diamonds and basically she likes to uh, say that she likes to wear diamonds because the companies that uh, she buys them when they're dust and then they turn them into diamonds so that's kind of like a symbol for her when she says that that's why she likes wearing diamonds is what she says um, Lynn grew up in uh, Teaneck New Jersey and early on basically uh, her drive to do good was instilled in her by her parents at a very young age her dad was a, a school teacher and so she was very close to her dad and, but he passed away when Lynn was uh, a sophomore at Yale University. And so Lynn actually left school to come home to basically take care of her mom and her little brother. And so uh, what she did was she ended up um, getting a job uh, on Wall Street. And she um, worked there for like 19 years, 15 hours a day. But before that, just the stress of you know taking care of her brother and her mom, it actually ended her marriage. So at 24 years old, she found herself single with an infant daughter. And so, again, she wanted to work hard. You know, she had the fear of, you know, being a failure, of uh, failing her child, not being able to take care of her child. Her child. So, again, at the age of 23, uh, she was working for Wall Street 15 hours a day. And she said her 20s were uh, difficult and dark and that she only remembers them in shadowy details. She said because she lived in fear every day, fear of not being able to keep her job and not take care of her daughter. And fear of just failure, period. So after 19 years of the macho mentality, which she came across uh, working for Merrill Lynch, she ended up suing Merrill Lynch for sexual harassment, and she ended up settling. And so Lynn was so beaten down by all the years of that experience, she wasn't sure she would be able to, you know, stand again and get back out into the world. And so she had saved uh, enough money, you know, to retire. She was okay. But then one night she went to sleep and she had a dream, and her father came to her in her dream and basically, you know, he told her that, you know, that wasn't like what he saw for her. And so, um, well, actually, I, let me just go back. Before she actually left uh, Merrill Lynch, she had all the machoism where the men would like call her on a daily basis, her customers, and ask her, you know, what was she wearing, what clothes or underwear. So before she left as a prank, she decided to send out a Christmas card. And on the Christmas card, she had on this red teddy with uh, red cowboy boots and a Santa hat. And it said, ho, 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 Merry Christmas or whatever. So it was like a prank to them to, you know, like up them one or whatever. But anyway, just wanted to throw that in there. But anyway, when uh, Lynn had that dream, you know, again, she had, you know, wanted to stay as far away from Wall Street as possible. That was her thing. But her father told her, you know, that's just not, you know, what he saw for her. And so... Uh, her calling was to save people from, you know, what she suffered from when she lost her a working parent, which is her dad, and the crumbling, you know, of um, the family. And so she decided to go back to New York, and that's when she actually um, decided she wanted to help save, you know, other families. If she could keep one person working, she could save an entire family from going through what she went through. And so December of 2000, again, Lynn returned to New York and launched Patriarch Partners in honor of her father. And so they are in 14 different industries, helicopters, fire trucks, makeup companies, clothing companies. Uh, the only thing they all have in common is that nobody wanted those companies. Nobody wanted them. So Lynn says jobs are what she thinks about daily. She said we must create jobs or we will have violence in the streets of America. I'm going to repeat that. We must create jobs or we will have violence in the street of, 
streets of America. So there are some who want to be entrepreneurs. And there are some people who, until they want to or see that vision, they need a job. So there's only one way to put people back to work in this country. And that is if you want to sell it in America, you need to make it in America. That's what Lynn says. So Barbara Walters asked Lynn, what advice would you give to someone young, starting out, and they say, I want to be a millionaire one day? And Lynn's response was, I would say, don't do what you do for the money. Do what path you choose. Do it because it makes your heart beat fast. Because success comes from following your passion. So guys, follow your passions. Follow your dreams. Find your life's purpose and turn your passions into profits. So, let's stay connected. If you too like sharing things that you love so much and are passionate about and you like to make money just like I do, go to http colon forward slash forward slash www.makemoneywithtam.com. That's http colon forward slash forward slash www.makemoneywithtam.com. Plug in your email address and find out how you too can get paid for your passions and turn them into profits. See you on the next post. Peace.